Hi and welcome to Rainbow Unicorn Cat One channel. I have been planning to make this video for a while now and it's mostly meant for parents who are just in the beginning of their American Girl journey. If your kid just got interested in American Girl brand or 18 inch dolls, this is a video for you. I hope this will be helpful before the holiday season. But if you are a collector, especially if you're a beginner collector, I'm sure some of these tips will be helpful for you as well. And if you're a seasoned collector and you watch this video and you have other tips, please let me know in the comments, share it with the community. I'm sure this will be helpful for some people. In this video, I'll show you eight ways to save on American Girl. And by the way, if you are new to this channel, but interested in all American Girl related content, but not yet subscribed to us, I definitely recommend doing so. And if you turn on the notification bell, YouTube will always let you know when we upload a new video. We post all the latest American Girl news, crafts, and unboxing. We post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but sometimes we post on other days as well. That's a lot of American Girl content. And the way to save the most on American Girl is by actually buying off-brand. I know some people are very loyal to American Girl brand and some people not so much. If you're a parent and this is your first 18-inch doll that you're buying for your child, buying off-brand is a great option. There are many, many brands that provide really good quality to price ratio for 18 inch dolls. I'm going to mention our generation. That one is my favorite, my personal favorite. They have dolls that are really cute. The new classic mold is really cute. The older one, I know some people thought it looked a little bit creepy, but the new one, I think everybody's in agreement that the new classic mold from our generation is cute. Their line of dolls is very diverse and has always been. They even have a Muslim doll. So everybody can find a doll that looks like them. And there's a variety of boys too. Pretty cool. Their accessories are great. If you are in the United States, you can purchase our generation at Target. And Target often has sales on our generation brand. But I'm not going to talk more about this. I think I might make a separate video about different brands of 18-inch dolls. If I do, the link to that video will be in the description box below but not, not when this video airs. Next brand I want to talk about is My Life As, and this is a Walmart brand of 18-inch dolls. They are nice. Their, their faces are pretty much the same. I think they have one more face mold for girls. The accessories are hit or miss. The quality is a little bit worse than our generation. Our generation, I feel like, is a pretty decent quality. My Life As, sometimes the quality is kind of poor but they do have interesting sets that american girl doesn't have and honestly you can't beat the price the price is amazing of course there are other brands like adora i personally don't own an adora doll so i can't really talk about the quality but i hear the quality is pretty good and i see them on amazon i also seen them at marshall's last year before around christmas time so that's another brand and one more brand i want to mention is queen's treasures queen's treasures has fantastic quality furniture and accessory sets they're made out of real wood their furniture sets are great for historical doll setups. They are still cheaper than similar American Girl sets. So there you are. One more thing I want to mention is on this channel, we have this series called AGs Everywhere, where we go to different stores and find things appropriate for 18-inch dolls, like properly sized. I'll put the link to the playlist in the description box below. I strongly suggest checking the latest video on that playlist because... If you look at the older videos, some of the items that we show aren't available in the stores anymore. There's a new AGs Everywhere video coming this Friday, so check it out too. And I'm planning to make a video about whether you should buy an American Girl brand doll or an off-brand doll for your child. That video is coming next week. Once it comes out, I'll put the link to it in the description box below. Another way to save on American Girl merchandise is to buy pre-loved. And there are, of course, pros and cons of buying pre-loved dolls and accessories, but sometimes you don't have a choice. Some dolls and their accessories have been retired. The only way to buy them is on the secondary market, and they're practically impossible to find in a new condition. Thanks to the internet, there are many places that we can buy pre-loved American Girl dolls and accessories. Way more places than even 10, 20 years ago. Of course, the old places are still good places like garage sales, thrift stores. Once upon a child, if you have one in your area, there's a place called Girl Again in upstate New York where they specialize on buying pre-loved American Girl 
dolls and accessories. I would really love to go there one day and I hope I end up in that area sometime soon. If we do, we'll make a video about it, absolutely 100%. So those are physical places to shop for American Girl dolls. If you would rather shop from your couch, the best places to buy pre-loved dolls are eBay, Mercari, Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp app, or even Poshmark. Just two days ago, I uploaded a video on how to shop pre-loved dolls and what questions to ask, so I'm not going to repeat them. Just go watch that video. I'll put the link to it in the description box below as well. The important question to ask yourself when buying pre-loved dolls is how much is the price important to me compared to how much time I'm going to invest fixing up the doll. If you're on a limited budget but have enough time to research and actually restore a doll, and most restorations are quite doable at home for most dolls, um, yeah, go ahead and buy a pre-loved doll. If you don't have a lot of time, you'll have to ask a lot of questions and make sure that the doll is actually in good condition. But buying a pre-loved doll in a good condition, let's say Julie, you can buy her in a very, very good condition for about 80 bucks on places like Facebook Marketplace, while she will still cost you 115 plus tax on American Girl website. So that's another option. And I've just purchased a lot of pre-loved dolls off Marketplace and I'm planning to restore them. So there will be some new videos coming to our channel where I show you how to do basic repairs on American Girl dolls in the next month. So this is my advice number two, buy pre-loved. Another way to save on American Girl is to join American Girl Rewards program. It's kind of a no-brainer. And if you shop at American Girl store, they always offer you to join the program. And if you're purchasing stuff online, you still should do it. You don't have to do anything. Basically, every purchase earns you some points that later will be redeemed. Um, the program is a little bit complicated. I have made a video about this, explaining everything in detail. I'll put the link to that video in the description box below. Watch it. If you have any questions, ask me there. I do my best to answer all the questions that we get on the videos. And this really isn't the best way to save money on American Girl dolls, but you don't have to do anything. And that's, you know... That might be a little bit extra that will still help one more way to say on american girl is to use rakuten which is a cashback app or a website it only works if you purchase online so it doesn't work for purchasing in store but it basically gives you cash back on your purchases i will put my own referral link to sign up for a rakuten account in the description box below if you go through that link and purchase something you will get a 30 dollars bonus just for signing up now we'll get some bonus as well. Normally you get 2% cash back on all American Girl purchases, but during Black Friday and, and other sales and special events, you get more cash back. I think last year they had 5% cash back or even 10% cash back on Black Friday. I'm not sure. I remember it was significantly higher than usual, which is great. And it goes on top of all American Girl sales and rewards. One more way to save on American Girl stuff is to craft your own accessories and clothes for 18-inch dolls. I know it might sound intimidating, but there's so many tutorials on how to make a lot of things. And if there are any particular things you'd like us to make on this channel, don't hesitate to comment and ask us. We have an entire playlist with DIYs. Feel free to check it out. There are several other channels that do this. And I'm going to give a shout out to Always Dolls and Michelle's House of Miniatures that are consistently uploading new craft videos. They're still totally Rudy, who used to be known as American Girl Ideas. She doesn't upload new craft videos for 18-inch dolls, but she still has a lot of old videos, although the printables aren't available anymore. Another way to save on American Girl dolls is shop on Amazon during their Prime Day sale, Black Friday sale, or Cyber Monday sale. They usually have really good deals on Truly Me dolls and some accessories and outfits. The deals on Truly Me dolls are pretty fantastic. I remember some Truly Me dolls were like $65 last year during Black Friday sale. On this channel, we post updates on all the sales happening on American Girl dolls or other 18-inch doll brands. So if you subscribe and have your notifications turned on, YouTube will let you know. Another way to save on American Girl is to purchase Costco bundles. Every year, American Girl makes sets that are made to be sold at Costco stores. In the past, they used to make sets with historical characters that had some actually pretty unique accessories, like 
Samantha has a cost, had a Costco exclusive set and Kit had a Costco exclusive sweater. Later, they made sets with Girls of the Year, which I think were also really good. The value was really good. But in the past couple of years, they are making Truly Me sets. And the accessories that come with them, they are Costco exclusive. They're usually not sold on American Girl website or in stores. And they're a really good deal. Right now, Costco has these sets available. They retail at $130, and considering that just a doll retails at $115, and you also get accessories as an, and an extra outfit for just extra $15, I think it's a fantastic deal. If you're not a Costco member, you usually still can purchase them online. Another way to do it is to go shopping with a friend who has a Costco membership or ask them to purchase a Costco gift card. And a Costco gift card doesn't have to be the exact amount that you plan on to make your purchase on. For example, they can purchase you a $50 gift card. You can go to Costco with it and show it at the entrance and then you can buy, I don't know, $600 worth of merchandise. Isn't that about the average number on your receipt from Costco? Mm -hmm. Anyway, Costco bundles are great for saving money on American Girl dolls. I also would like to mention several places where you can buy discounted American Girl merchandise. Tuesday morning stores used to be a great place for that, but the ones where I live closed, like all of them in the entire state. I don't know if they still open somewhere else. I heard they kept them in the South, but I'm not sure. Another great place to find discounted American Girl merchandise is Marshalls and Home Goods. They usually get some American Girl items right before Christmas. So I know some stores had them last year. I know some stores are starting to get them now. It's worth checking out. And another place that I another place I had good luck finding American Girl merchandise is Zulily, the website. They don't always have American Girl merchandise, but sometimes they do. I haven't seen actual 18-inch dolls on there, but I have seen outfits and accessories. And of course, shopping sales on actual American Girl website is an absolutely great way to save money. On this channel, we often post updates on American Girl sales. They have big sales around Black Friday and Cyber Monday. They have big sales around Easter, 4th of July, and sometimes they have kind of random sales. They usually have really good sales right before something new is released because they're trying to get rid of the old stock. Anyway, these are the ways to save on American Girl merchandise. Let me know in the comments if you have your own tips. I'd love to hear them. Other people would love to hear them. Let's share them with the community. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button. And if you enjoy all American Girl related content but not yet subscribed to our channel, I definitely recommend doing so. And if you turn on the notification bell, YouTube will always let you know when we upload a new video. We post all the latest American Girl news, crafts, and unboxing. We post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but sometimes we post on other days as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time.